Friday, May 1st, 2020, Mesa, Arizona, Grandma Gold, HopeInPrison.com. In everything give thanks. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. The opening paragraph of Step 11, Personal Revelation, of the 12-Step Addiction Recovery Program states, As we studied and practiced the steps of recovery, we became familiar and comfortable with a life based on humility and acceptance of God's will. Gone were the anger, confused times when, if we prayed at all, we prayed either in an attitude of stubborn self-will or whimpering self-pity. Further on in the chapter, it says, When you express gratitude to the Lord, your capacity to receive guidance will increase. In the jail, the inmates complain about the guards a lot. I like to quote 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. In everything give thanks. Then ask the men if they have ever thanked God for the guards. Today I was being a little inmate-ish, about the COVID-19 situation. Aware of my attitude, my wife, Antonia, pointed out that I was complaining and whining too much about the government. After I thanked Heavenly Father for what was going on, I made a most remarkable discovery in FamilySearch.org. I learned that my grandfather, Helaman Mosiah Gold, married my grandma, Louise Seiler, 91 years ago today on May 1st, 1929. Grandpa's first wife, Maria Magdalena Plu, my mother's mother, died on January 11th, 1928, when mom was two years old. I talk about Grandma Gold often in the jail. Everyone was always welcomed in her home. Every stray cat was also welcome to the scraps Grandma put out for them on the back porch. When I was little, I remember sitting on Grandma's bed watching her iron her temple clothes. She loved the temple. Years later, when I was an ordinance worker in the temple, I remembered sitting in the basement break room in the temple. I felt the most familiar, peaceful feeling there. It was the same exact way I used to feel sitting in Grandma's basement. When I was about 16 years old, I remember listening to Grandma speak at church. She told of a time when she was recently married and had six children. Grandpa had five sons and one daughter, my mother, when he married Grandma. Once when all the children were sick, Grandma said she thought about just leaving and abandoning it all. But then she thought, no, this is my family. I'm staying. And she did. Last night we were watching Star Wars. When it first came out, I was 14. I explained to Grandma what an important movie it was. I was very disappointed when she said she didn't care for those types of things. Grandma described herself as fat and sassy. When she was 14, during World War I, she lived in Germany. She said sometimes they were so hungry, they ate bark off the trees. I suppose knowing hunger made Star Wars or worrying about being chubby seemed rather silly. The night before Grandma's funeral, we stayed at Uncle Glenn's home. He told us that before Grandpa remarried, He told the boys they would be calling his new wife mother and that there wouldn't be any step this or step that. My uncles and mom did call Grandma Gold mother the rest of their lives. At Grandma's funeral, my mom told me her goal was to be as nice as Grandma Gold. Being as nice as Grandma Gold is my goal too.